Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is Fina Chichi, I'm, um, the founder of Parenting Teens Solutions. I have a topic today that I want to talk about very briefly, and it's the question is really, do difficult teenagers exist? Do we really have difficult teenagers out there? And honestly speaking, I saw a post that was talking about how to discipline difficult teens, and I thought, hmm, it just, it really got me thinking, and I thought, do difficult teenagers really exist? And here's my answer to, the, to, to, that, to that question. I think the answer is no. I think there's just a, an understanding gap between parents and teenagers. And so, of course, because of that understanding gap, um, we are not speaking in the way that those teenagers would understand. And so, of course, teenagers are reacting. They're probably not doing what you're saying. They're probably not listening. They're probably not even respecting. And so we term them as difficult. But the base, the root of the matter, is actually in the understanding. When teenagers, when you get to understand teenagers, you, the way you speak to them changes, the way you correct them changes, the way you even discipline them changes. And because you understand them, they can see you. Because you understand them, they can listen to you. Because you understand them, they can understand where you're coming from. But the onus is on us to understand them first. And understanding them doesn't mean being permissive or just letting them get away with things. No, it's understanding their temperaments, understanding where they are in the journey of life that they're on right now, because they're all on different journeys. Some will get it. Some will not get it right now. Some it will take some time to get it. But it's you as a parent understanding those things that will get you to speak in the kind of language that they understand and they can listen to. One of the main disadvantages or one of the main consequences of not taking the onus to understand them is that you will have conflicts with them. They will not do what you say or, or grumble about it. Things will happen. But it's we've got to understand them. And I've got three ways I'm going to share with you how to actually understand your teenagers better. Okay, all right. Number one is observe them. Our teenagers are very different. They respond differently. Observe them and then do what it is that they react to better. And I'm going to give you an example. Um, in terms of my children, my teenagers, I noticed, this was earlier on in their, in their, their early teens, I noticed they don't really respond a lot to when I correct them in front of their siblings. So I took that on board. And now what I do is correct them individually. The other siblings don't need to know that I'm correcting them. Because I know that they gain, they have more respect. They, there's, there's something more about when I go to them in private to talk to them. They listen more. The results are phenomenal. But I observe that. And I pick that up and run with it. And that's what I've done all through their teen years. I mean, my son is 18, just clocked 18 of, um, last week. And that's always been the way I've corrected him. Take him to the side. Talk to him. I meet him in the kitchen. I've got something to tell him. I speak one-on-one -on -one to him and it works. So observe your teenagers. What do they respond to? And then do what it is that they respond to. Number two that I will say, um, so I've talked about observing them. Number two I will say is ask open questions. Ask them questions because a lot of times when we don't ask questions, we end up making assumptions. And when we end up making assumptions, we make the wrong assumptions. They react badly to wrong assumptions. That's when they're defensive. That's when they're disrespectful. That's when they say, you know what, I'm not going to even say it. They shut down because we have reacted based on our assumptions. Ask open questions. And I know a lot of times we say, oh, teenagers, but they will just answer and say, I don't know, this, that, that. That's fine. Then give them a time. Tell them, you know what, go think about it. Let's, let's talk about this later. Let's talk about this later. Oh, can you think about some ideas and let's, let's talk about it later? Or why did you do it this way? Come back to me later. Let's talk about it. You want to know why they did stuff the way they did stuff. Because they do stuff based on their own level of understanding. But when we don't ask those open questions, we don't realize that, that level of understanding that they have. And then we have nothing to correct. We don't. We have nothing to teach. Um, so it's so important that we ask those open questions. And even if they don't have answers there and then, be patient enough to say, you know what, let's talk about it later. Go think about it. And let's talk about it later. Sometimes I even tell them, you know what, I'm even going to think about my own things as well. And let's let's share them together. So ask open questions. And then the, number, the third point I've got here is please respect your teenagers. 
sometimes it sounds foreign to us when we say respect our teenagers because we didn't grow up seeing our parents respect us, many of us. Um, it wasn't the norm back then. But it's, it's a human right. It's a human requirement to respect our children. Respecting them doesn't mean letting them get away with things. Respecting them just means talking to them as you would talk to a fellow human being. Talk to them with regard. Talk to them with respect. Talk to them with the feeling that they are human beings. Not shout at them, yell at them, talk and speak at them. Speak to them with respect. When you speak to teenagers with respect, you get to understand them more and they will respond to you with respect. We are the models of respect to them. It's the way we treat them. That's going to be the way they treat us back in their own ways. So they are no difficult teenagers. They are just teenagers that we need to understand more and more. So I hope this has helped. Please subscribe to our channel. There's more and more content that we're going to be sharing um, with you, um, parents of amazing teenagers. So amazing parents of amazing teenagers. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. You guys take care. God bless. Bye-bye.